Now another example is uh, for fault tolerance, really not for backups, but fault tolerance would be uh, clustering. And we covered clustering in telecommunications. And a lot of people think of clustering as, as mainly for LAN environments, but it could be used for LAN, WAN, or MAN environments. And what clustering means is you've got basically software that's controlling software on all of these different uh, devices or servers. Uh, if you think about a server farm for e-commerce environment, uh, you've got this whole server farm, which means a whole bunch of different servers that are running the same software, the same uh, web software. And uh, basically, it's doing uh, load balancing, which means that there's uh, a piece of software that knows how busy each one of those um, devices are. And it will send, you know, this guy's not as busy. I'll go ahead and send the next request to him. Now, clustering in this, what we're talking about in business continuity, is that it uh, provides, um, uh, it reduces your, your point of failure. If you only had one thing and you didn't have uh, clustering, or if you had several servers and they weren't clustered, uh, that meant when that one server went down, whatever it provided, whatever functionality would not be available. In clustering, if one server goes down, the others are going to continue to work and continue to provide that uh, functionality.